Saint Veloth, also known as Veloth the Pilgrim, is arguably the most famous, and certainly the most venerated, among the Dunmary pantheon of saints. Rising to prominence in the late Middle Morethic era on Somerset Isle, Veloth supposedly sought a more ascetic and pure way of life for his followers, and gathered them into a grand pilgrimage from the southwest regions of Tamriel to the northeast. According to the contemporary texts, he spared not a boat, ration, or strong-armed soul among his people in this exodus, and toiled to reach the land of Resdane. His mass pilgrimage to a new land where Stoic values were established was successful. The race enjoyed a period of high culture, known to many as the Golden Age, where Veloth's guidance shaped generations of stonemasons and architects, as well as priests and common folk. Although he wielded a mighty warhammer, Veloth's judgment, Veloth is thought of mainly as a peaceful and scholarly soul, to which the Dunmer's healing enchantments that bear his name attest. Veloth's power as a prophet was in no doubt, but his Mossback teachings on the worship of Dunmer forebears are worthy of consideration, as he almost single-handedly began the god cult worship of the good Daedra prior to the coming of the tribunal. Veloth's people honored him so much his influence can be felt generations later. Those trekking over the Velothi Mountains southeast of Skyrim, or hearing a Dunmer elder refer to their race as the Velothi, still feel the presence of this world-shaping mentor of Myrrh. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're on episode number seven of the Trials of Samuel. Um, excited for this one. We're going to be kind of taking a break from um, doing all the leveling up stuff. What I want to do today is actually accomplish a few things in terms of going through the, um, the tribunal quest line. So doing a few pilgrimages. And also we're going to be doing a few quests in and around Aldrun. Um, but to start with, actually, uh, one thing I didn't really highlight last episode was that we picked up a quest from Feral Retheran, just upstairs in the uh, Retheran Canton. And Rothis Nethan needs to appear for a duel of honor with Brethus Darius. So what we need to do is head on over to... Oh my gosh, we're so fast. <laughs> I forgot how fast we were. Um, head on over to the Retheran Canton. Which is, uh, that's the Telvani Canton there. So this is the Foreign Quarter Canton. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. So I believe then that would be the Arena Canton. And then this one over here is going to be the Redoran Canton. So straight ahead from here. Cool. Um, so we'll go over to the Redoran Canton. And we'll have a chat to um, the wonderful uh, fella who I just mentioned, who needs to go to his Duel of Honor. And actually, no, this is the... I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, no, this is the... Uh... That's definitely the Redoran symbol over there, so this is the Redoran Canton here. Okay, fine. Um, so we'll convince him to do the, um, the quest for the Duel of Honor. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these boots again. Give us a little speed boost. Isn't that lovely? Why we... We could levitate to the top. We could levitate to the top. It'd be faster, actually. Let's do that. Uh, Alt-Lev. Number one. And we're walking up with our wonderful alteration skills. Aren't they fantastic? Uh, I, I guess it's this one? He's in the corner club, I think, from memory. So we'll just walk through. I believe is on this side. It's on one of these sides. That's a Redoran Trader. That's a Redoran Smith. So he must be. Oh my gosh. Move out of my way, Ordinator. He must be uh, in here. The Flowers of Gold Corner Club. Okay. So yes. you are not him. You are him. Rothus and Nethan. You Are you here about that duel? I'll meet Brerus Darius in the arena, but you'll have to help me out. Bring me ten standard potions of healing. So from memory, 
Um, when it says the standard potions of healing here, they need to be actual standard potions of healing, so they can't be like uh, potions that we've crafted. Um, they can't be like cheap or, or bargain uh, potions of healing. They have to be actually called standard potions of healing. So we currently have six standard restore health potions. And I think probably the easiest way for us to actually get those potions of healing is to head over to the foreign quarter. And then go to the fighters guild because the fighters guild has the equipment chests. And in all of those, there should, I believe, be 10 Restore Fatigue Potions and 5 Restore Health Potions. And that would leave us with one. Uh, but we do have... Oh, we need to go over one more. Um, we do have uh, the uh, ability to uh, heal ourselves using our enchanted items. So I'm not too, too worried about uh, not having many Restore Health Potions. I think we should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, so we need the Fighters Guild, which is this one over here. Man, it feels so nice being this quick. Can't imagine eating one of what things? Um, so here is the Restore Health. So yeah, there are these cheap Restore Healths. Uh, and then these are the ones that we want. The, the good ones. And while we're here, as we always do, let's just try to repair up our things. And we can go ahead and drop that Armor's Hammer there. Okie dokie. Yeah, so I've, I've sort of, I, I think I finally figured out kind of the layout of the uh, the cantons. So we are currently on the foreign quarter. That over there is House Thwalu. That's House Redoran. That's the arena. And then over there in the distance there is, that's the Telvani canton. Uh, ahead of that on the left, I believe that one is St. Olm's. The one... Behind the Redoran Canton in front of us is St. Delon, and then in the middle at the end is the Tribunal uh, Temple Canton. I think. I think I finally uh, remembered where all the Cantons are. <laughs> I, think, I don't know how many hours I have in this game at this point to uh, for me to finally have figured that out, but there you go. And just levitating over. This would be the fastest way, I would think. Is to just levitate across. And there it wears off. And we're walking in. And we're heading off to the... It was the left, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Perfect. And then he is just downstairs. So we'll just go down here again. And we'll say hello to our wonderful friend, Rothus Nethan. What do you need? Ten standard potions of healing. Do you have the potions? Yes, here they are. Cool, meet me in the arena. I'll be there this time. Great. So let's go and watch him fight his foe in the arena. And that's all we have to do for this quest. We just have to confirm that he actually goes there and he sees the fight out to the end. And I'm stuck. There we go. And so to our right here. And that should be the arena cant on there. I think knowing where everything is... Uh, is going to make actually getting around so much easier. <laughs> it's so easy to get lost in the vec if you don't know which canton is which. And yeah, this is the arena. Great. Cool. And I think this one leads us to the top. It does. So all we need to do now is watch. Uh, oh, a little bit awkward. I'm gonna get us in position. Does sound like an exciting fight. And we're just going to watch this play out. Well, there we go. So unfortunately, our wonderful uh, friend, Rathus Nethan, did not make it. I wonder if we can go down and say hello to the victor. I knew I could beat that coward. Spellsword and retainer of the great house of Lalu. So unfortunately, Rothus Nethan is dead. Uh, I assume we can loot him, but uh, 
Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's just let him simmer and uh, sit there, wallow in his shame. Although less shame than actually refusing to to go ahead with the duel. So that's in some ways a silver lining for him. And now we'll head back to the Redoran Canton and we'll hand in this quest. There we go, and Pharaoh Retherin. Duel is over, and House Retherin's honor is saved. So we still can't do training with her yet, but we may be able to actually... Um, so she doesn't offer advancement, but I believe if we head over to the Silt Strider and then head to uh, Aldrun via, via uh, Balmora, um, we'll be able to advance a couple of times, I would think by now, in the uh, Redoran, uh, in the in the House Redoran uh, faction. So where is the Silt Strider from here? I think it's down there. I could use Slowfall actually, couldn't I? I could just run off the edge. Let's do that. Let's run off the edge. Uh, where are my Tempest boots? Please give me swallow fall. Uh, is it not that side? Is it this side? I'm in the wrong canton. I'm probably in the wrong canton, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I am in the wrong canton. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. All that talk about knowing where everything is. This is the House Lalu canton. And you know what? Let's use this. I think we should be able to cast it and it'll be fun with the slow fall effect so we'll activate this jump woohoo and in the water <laughs> now can i get on the side here yep so with the hop toad effect how high do we actually jump oh, okay uh, we'll restore fatigue and we'll also restore some magic here i'm more just curious about how much these potions affect. Okay, so it's not... Ah! I mean, if we're standing still, that looks pretty good. Moving forward. Okay, if we're moving forward, it's not great. Like Although it was wearing off there at some point. Uh, Balmora, wow. and then off to Alderun, and we don't really care about the gold price for this at all, because we just have so much money now. Uh, we'll grab the Tempest Boots again, and we'll, like I mentioned last episode, there's not really any reason to not use this all the time. So we'll just activate that. And we'll go way sprinting. So we are finally going to hand in this uh, House Redder and Quest line, um, Quest to Naminda, where we handed in the uh, the Cure Disease Potion in Old Velothi. Uh, actually, I need to go over here, don't I? Try to get around that guard, and avoid that guard on that side. Popping in here, talking to That's Naminda. We did you. deliver the Cure Disease Potion to Veld Thelden Virith. And let's do advancement first. So we've gone to Retainer, Oathman, Lawman, and that's as far as we get. So three promotions, all back to back. And we need to go find Mathis Dalobar, who's a trader who's probably headed towards Margan or Nissus. We may come back to this one. Stay as long as you like, There's someone else I need to talk to, to though, to um, and I'm not too sure where they are. But there's a particular quest that I want that will let us uh, basically kill two birds with one stone. Um, so both for the House Redoran and the Tribunal questline. And I'm just going to have to go find them, I think. Hopefully I won't be too long. There we go. So my son, Devil Belleth, wants to make the Ruddy Man pilgrimage. I want to let him go, but he is young and needs someone to escort him to the Coal Cave. Cool. Talk to my son, Devil Belleth, and escort him to the Coal Cave, a famous pilgrimage site south of Nissus. So here we go. No harm in talking. What can I do for you? Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Let's get him to follow us off to Cold Cave. 
So this is going to be... Uh, we're going to be walking for a while. Oh my gosh, she's teleported in front of me. That's terrifying. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to figure out our way out of here. Uh, that's not it. I think it's this way up here. I think this is the direction that I came in. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, she keeps teleporting in front of me. This is scary. Um, so we'll head off to Nessus, and then from Nessus we can go to... Uh, he's still behind. So this is going to be one issue with us having a really high speed. Left. Is that when we have follower quests and that kind of thing, we're just going to have to wait a little bit you for them to catch up. And hopefully he doesn't get too stuck on these guys. And we can actually get out of here. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's just zigzagging back and forth. He's here with me. Fantastic. Let's go. So I, I roughly remember where Coal Cave is, I think. I know it's south of Nessus somewhere. Um, so we'll try to figure that out once we get to Nessus. Um, I do seem to remember, actually, that I need to get Drow Wax. I don't think I have any on me. I'm pretty sure I have some in the... Where on earth are you going? That is one very unimpressed face. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. What is he? What is he trying to do? What? What? Where did he go? Is that him there? What is he doing? <laughs> Oh my goodness. How on earth did you find yourself here? It's like he... I have no idea what just happened. Um, I'm really hoping that he can stay with me here. And then follow me up these this little ramp. Yep, you're doing, you're doing great. That's the way. All right. Cool. Let's head to... Um, we'll go to Nessus, and what I'm going to try to do, I think, is we'll get to Nessus. We make a special trip I'm going to tell him to wait here. What was that? And I want to go back to Balmora. And I want to pick up my Drow Wax. Okay, we're traveling to Alderun, and then from Alderun... Heading off to Nissus, and I hope this guy is behaving himself and actually standing right here. Say Fantastic. No, Alright, cool. So follow me, and we'll go find Cole Cave. Now, actually, I am seeing these 10 pace boots, uh, they do tend to take a while to recharge, huh? That's okay. Um, I'm actually going to use my mark spell here. So I don't need to... So previously the mark was set on um, the Mud Crab Merchant. I don't really plan on going back to the Mud Crab Merchant for some time. And so uh, there's no need to keep it there. <laughs> I always forget about this guy. Hentus Yansa Numu. Hi Neb stole my pants. I was taking a bath and Hi Neb Lasamsi stole my pants. Maybe you could talk to him and get my pants back. Uh, yep, if we find him, we'll, we'll get your pants back. So it is south somewhere. Um, I don't know if he can get up that hill. I don't know if I can get up that hill, to be honest. Oh, maybe over there. Yep, he's following. It's good. So coal cave, coal cave. It reckons somewhere south of Nissus. I don't have my map with me this time. Um, I have been here before, but it has been a while. <laughs> uh, in fact, don't we have his... 
We do have it marked on our map because of the Pilgrim's Path. Fantastic. If I look at the local map, it doesn't really give me much. But if I look at the overview map, so it says it's actually even further south. So we'll go around this way. I'm guessing it's in this water down here. I might just say to him, wait here. So that he doesn't come down with me. And I'm just going to check if Coal Cave is here. Okay, we get an athletic skill. That's good. And we are getting closer to Coal Cave. Oh, there is a drow. Uh, I desperately need to put on my things here. Hello? Just gonna... And then we'll do Demon Katana and go in. Okay, there we go. Well, actually, you know what? If we hadn't gone back for that drow wax, we would have got some here. So that's nice. All right. Come on over, my friend. Where are you going? Where are you going, he says. He's getting lost and he's getting left behind. You're too fast. So if you walk backwards, your character speed is slightly reduced, I think, in this game. And in most games, walking backwards is slightly slower. Although I think maybe in Morrowind it's not not true. It does feel pretty quick still going backwards. Going to the side definitely is slower. You could just crab walk everywhere. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head into Coal Cave. Alrighty. And so, Devil Belleth arrived safely at the Coal Cave, and here we have the Coal Cave Shrine. So all we have to do is donate our Drow Wax and ask for a blessing. We'll say yes. The Grace of Valor. Thank you for your valor, Lord Vivek. I shall not quail, nor turn away, but face my enemies and my fear. And so the Grace of Valor, that will give us some effects. Theory. Here we go. So we get Fortify skill effects, unarmored, light armor, medium armor, and heavy armor of 10 points. So regardless of what armor we have, uh, we get Fortify an armor effect of 10 points. Now if you wanted to um, do this without first uh, getting Drow Wax, or if you show up here and you have no Drow Wax, what you can do is head on down through this cave, and there will be a Drow Warlord that you can fight, and then you can offer his Wax to the Shrine. And the game will perform a check, and then uh, it will offer you a, a medium a drow cuirass, uh, enchanted, um, that will fortify your endurance a little bit, which is quite a nice little uh, item. It's a medium armor piece, and so it's not particularly useful for us. Um, so that is fine. So that is now two quests. Well, not two quests, but one quest done, and then one not one more part of the tribunal. Uh, Pilgrimages, all done for us. And uh, my Silk Strider Merchant has disappeared. Guessing he's probably fallen down somewhere, and he has. Okay. So this is one of those things that do tend to happen um, as you play through the game, is that people sort of move inch by inch. Um, I will reset that. Uh, before the next episode. So now I'm thinking probably we could head to Magan. Let's go to Magan. Why walk when you can run? So there is another quest that we picked up um, from Naminda in uh, Alderun, which is to go and find a missing merchant. Now I know where this missing merchant is, but I'm going to have a quick chat around the town. Uh, oh yeah, we've been attacked by an assassin. Speak to Apelles Matthias in Ebenhard. Okay, that's fine. Um, so Mathis Dalobar. Maybe he got stuck in the ash storm. It was a bad one. I'm glad I wasn't caught in it. 
So Mathis Dalaba is a merchant who should have arrived in Magan a little while ago, and it's currently is missing. Um, v, you know more? Maybe he got stuck in the ash storm? I caught a lot of people by surprise. When a storm hits like that, you take shelter in whatever's nearby. So Magan is an interesting settlement in that it's very, very unremarkable. Um, there are a few houses for egg miners, and that is essentially it. There is this one trader, there is the temple back there. Um, but the trade house is kind of the only other place where um, people actually hang about. I saw someone leading some pack gua up to the Rothen tomb. So the Rothen tomb is on the main road on the right, just before the road turns south to Aldrun. Perfect. So let's go and check that out. So that's a lead. And we'll go see if we can find anything in that tomb. So on the main road heading towards Alderun. So if we look at our map. So this is the main road now. Heading towards Alderun. So it would go... Can't quite see it because we haven't really uh, been in this area yet. But you can see there is a road that goes through just like this. So just before it turns south, leading to Alderun. Oh, and our music just changed. I'm assuming that something is going on. Maybe something has seen us and is trying to attack us. Can you help a poor pilgrim? I'm trying to get to Ruddy Man. Oh no! I just did this one! Sorry, I can't help you. I can pay you 150 septums upon our arrival. That's a shame. And I believe this is the Rothen Ancestral Tomb. And there is a dude here, Mathis Delaba. Thank the tribunal you're here. I've been stuck in here for days since the ash storm. I was too far from town when the storm hit. I took shelter in here until the storm passed, but then I couldn't get out because the door was stuck. I've been in here for days. The sooner we travel together back to Magan, the sooner I can get back into business. So can we travel together to Magan? Follow me. I wonder what's in here. Oh, I guess we'll never know. Horribly haunted stuff. Cool. So you can go ahead and follow us. We have a cliff racer over there. Threatening to cause us some harm. Just trying to be careful not to actually, actually hit this guy. So I'm attacking. Which uh, I have been known to do when I've got followers in this game is... To accidentally start wailing on them. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, okay, that is set. I, I, I get worried every time when I start this game that it's resetting back to the default, which is normal. What is that noise? Oh, hello, that's a scarab beetle. <laughs> that's a. Uh... Okay, he's going for it. Okay, we need to go defend this guy. Jeepers creepers. Uh, diseased Shalk. Yeah, we'll take the Shalk resin, I guess. Um, they uh, they can be problematic. Holy cow! Seems like every little bit of wildlife in the entire island of Vardenfell is coming for us today. <laughs> on our walk back, it was fine on the way there. On the walk back, everything seems to uh, have come out of the woodwork. Before we start complaining that we're going too fast soon. But uh, I would say he's just going too slow. Up we come. We're almost there. This is the temple here. Okay. Yep, you want to keep. Thank you. Fantastic. So there we go, so that bit's done. And now we can head back to Aldrun and hand in two quests for House Redoran. Uh, Assi Seramilk. I bring you a message, Dagoth Ur calls you Samuel, and you cannot deny your lord. Yes, Outlander, what do you want? Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps, but when he wakes we all shall rise and the dust will blow away. Serve your lord, Dagoth Ur. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. 
So sleepers are popping up everywhere. And that tends to mean that um, there are fortresses around the map where Why walk when you can run? Uh, House Dagoth is uh, spreading their influence from. Yeah, we'll, we'll get behind that fence soon enough, I think. I think we may even do it this episode. If I can remember where the uh, the ghost gate is. Because <laughs> I want to... There is a single shrine um, that is on the other side of the ghost fence that we need to go to to finish off our uh, pilgrimages. So we will do that. Maybe this episode. I like what I see. I heard that Mathis Dalobar made it to Magan with your help. Good work. I have more duties for me. Oh my gosh. A Hlalu guard stole a founder's helm from one of our tombs. Alvis Terry stole a founder's helm from the Uverin ancestral tomb. He boasts of this feat at the Eight Plates Inn in Balmora and wears the helm openly. Confront him and demand the helm. Slay him if necessary, but do not shame House Redoran by murdering him. You must not murder Alvis Terry. Threaten him, taunt him, these are allowed. You may even slay him as long as he strikes the first blow. But if you resort to murder, the Hlali will, bag, uh, will brag for years that all Redorans are thugs and murderers. Okay. We'll take advancement and we get to Kinsman. And the next is the uh, rank of house cousin, which we may be able to get actually when we hand in this next quest. So we can go ahead and do that one. That one's relatively quick. I think we have some Telvani bug musk as well, which should help. Uh, it's not that one. Oh gosh. You're a trader. We need the smith. Ah, this one here. This is the one. Did my son arrive safely at Coal Cave? Yes, he did. Thank you for keeping my son safe on his pilgrimage. Please take this sword with my gratitude. So we got a steel fire sword. Which is... Uh, terrible. Um, you want to buy it from me? <laughs> it is worse than the iron shard sword, I think. And actually, uh, because it's fire damage... Although, it actually might be better. Even taking into account the resistances, I think it's better than the Iron Shard Sword. And so we'll wave goodbye to the Iron Shard Sword. It served us well up to this point. But alas, I think the Steel Fire Sword is slightly better. And so we'll go ahead and uh, grab that... Um, don't think there's... Wow, Grandmaster's Armor's Hammer. Uses 10, quality 1.7. Wow, we... Just a very, very quick look. I mean, there's nothing there that we want, but I'm more just curious for other playthroughs that I'm thinking of for this game. Again, I think I mentioned uh, earlier that I'm not particularly familiar with House Redoran. And so this is all a little bit new to me. Oh, what I really need actually is a soul gem. Well, it's a shame that you don't sell soul gems. But I'm going to grab these two feather scrolls. So they are feather 50 points for four minutes. And there's also this reflect one here. So these two scroll, these three scrolls, I should say, uh, we'll take those. So twenty to sixty percent reflect for half a minute. Uh, that might come in handy. Yes. Now I am pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that these crates and barrels and stuff they restock after a certain amount of time, and you can sometimes find soul gems in them. I only need very very 
weak soul gem. There we go, a petty soul gem. Fantastic. Can we find any more? Just while we're here and having a look. Uh, what is that? Restore speed. Fantastic. Well, let's head back to um, to here. I'm actually going to put down my mark right here. How do we fail three times in a row? Oh. There we go. Okay. So mark is done. And we are going to go ahead and... That's fine. Heading back to Alderun. Oh my goodness me. So much fast travel in this game. For a game that doesn't actually have uh, easy fast travel. Head to Alderun. Alright. And then from here, we're heading southeast. So we are going to do our first uh, venture across the ghost fence. Uh, we'll see if we can avoid these guys, but I don't think we can. Thanks, lady. Yep, you just stand there. Don't help at all. It's fine. So I have a kind of a, a, a... Not a hard and fast rule, but basically... A rule in my brain. Hey, long blade. Nice. Um, do not talk to NPCs. Unless... Uh, if I can avoid it. Unless I know they're safe. Because... Some of the NPCs will just... Cause you so many headaches this game and we're kind of off the beaten track here at this point but that's fine so the only enchantment that I'm currently using is the demon katana's bound longsword ability I hope that's gonna be okay and I hope we don't get screwed because of not having all of our enchantments active but we'll go ahead and use this again. And it just helps us to kind of guarantee that we're going to hit the enemy and uh, take them down. Now, oh, ghost fence, ghost fence, ghost fence. I think it's further down that way. Past these Daedric ruins, which... Uh, that appears to be a frost at your neck. Oh, I love this track so much. That's a flame metronic. So being this close to the uh, ghost fence, we may end up encountering things like ash vampires, corpus stalkers, that kind of thing. So just trying to stay on our guard about that. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Okay, and I'm going to kill this thing as well. Uh, and we just killed it in one hit. Test it. Alright. Uh, get me up the mountain. We can avoid fighting any more cliff races. That'd be nice. I think that one's a bit too far away for uh, him to aggro to us, so it's good. And what we're going to do is we're going to head through. I think we hit that. And indeed, that does open it for us. It's been a while since I did this, so I'm hoping that we can... Oh, that's an Ash Vampire. Okay, we need to definitely... Get all of our things done for this. Okay, well, oh, an ash zombie, sorry. Get those ash salts up and running. Now I think it's around here somewhere. I really hope it's not too far. I don't quite remember where. Over here? Over here. Over here. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and we have our soul gem. There we go. And we ask at the ghost gate shrine. The grace of pride, thank you for your pride, Lord Vivek. I shall not doubt myself, or my people, or my gods, 
and shall insist upon them and my ancient rights. Uh, I thought I was sliding there. I don't seem to be. It's good. And a cliff racer is now dead. Just a plain old cliff racer. Okay. Right, and now let me in, please. <laughs> Get me out of here. I don't feel adequately prepared to be on this side of the ghost fence. All right. Perfect. Cool. And so that is now, I believe, that is four... Three shrines done. Three shrines done. So we are getting there. Also, um, I keep forgetting I have this ability here. Adrenaline Rush. I just haven't used since like episode two or something. Um, we're going to cast this very quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and use our recall. We'll see if we can cast it. We can. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's go and do this Rhetoring quest. They are in eight plates, which I believe is this club here. It is indeed. And what was their name again? I don't quite remember what their name was. Alvis Terry. This guy. Just what I need. Another stupid Rhetoring. I don't think so. I like the way it fits. His disposition with us is quite low. I think we need to get to 80 disposition from memory. Do I and I can't remember. What I really need is like fortified personality. So. I know that I have Telvani Bug Musk, but one is not going to be enough. I feel like the Cyrodiilic Brandy should uh, fortify personality, right? <laughs> Maybe? And if I was a better alchemist, I might be able to do the... Uh, brew my own potions, but in this case, not really at the right level for it. That's okay. So what we'll do instead is I'm going to head over to... Um, somewhere that I know definitely has Fortify uh, personality in the form of Talbani Bug Musk. So I'll head over there and I'll run back and we'll, we'll uh, finish off this bit. I think it's someone here. I can't remember which one. I know we were here a couple of episodes ago. You sell throwing stars, okay. Uh, it must be you. It must be you. Look at all these wonderful... Yes. Yeah, we'll just buy three of them. The Vani Bug Musk is one of those things that are actually really nice to have a few. Are you restocking on these? No. Okay, that's a shame. I wonder if you maybe sell some as well. No such luck. Speak freely, friend. I'm guessing you don't, because you're an enchanter. Okay, and just having a quick look see. You know what? I reckon those paralyzed spells look real nice. <laughs> oh dear. We re we really like scrolls, as you can see. Um I don't know how many of these are gonna be useful for us. But anyway, we'll head back. It's more just a case of, uh, you know, they give us options when we don't have the ability in the spells that we have or the equipment we have. It's another kind of I haven't much time. bank of options that we have there. So he does not like us. Now, I believe we need 75 disposition. So... Yep, so we get 20 every time we use one of these. 80. So we're at 80 right now. And I could have potentially gone into here and used these, actually. But that seems to not really work very well. <laughs> okay, so we'll use all of these. 
There we go. Fine, take the stupid helm. But you're a mama's boy, and so is your stupid founder. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. So we'll go and hand this in. It was Naminda, wasn't it? Did you get the founder's helm? Did. Fantastic. And we did not shame House Ritterin. There we go. Uh, you should speak with Councillor Athens Serethi. I cannot advance you to that rank of house cousin. There is someone watching me. Okay, well, while we're here, we'll do that. We'll have a chat to the Athens Serethi. Now, one of these is the Serethi Manor, which is that one there. Uh, over there. So we'll head to that. Just over here. Not this one. Oh, no, it is this one. This one here. And Athens Serethi is this dude right here, I believe. Hello. But you have not yet performed enough duties. Okay, so we have to do more quests before we can advance. Hello, Outlander. May I help you? Okay. That's fine. We'll we'll revisit that and come back to this. In the meantime, we'll use our Amulet of Recall. And we'll pop back to Balmora. It's very nice being able to fast travel like that. It's extremely handy, especially when you're starting around doing quests and stuff. Why walk when you can run? In various parts of the map. Why walk when you can run? Why walk indeed? And if my microphone sounds a bit different, um, I have put a pop filter on there, so hopefully those P's and the B's and the T's sound a little bit nicer as I'm speaking, hopefully. <laughs> that at least is the theory. And there we have a nice uh, view of the asteroid hanging over Vivek City that our uh, wonderful Lord Vivek has saved us from. Now there is a shrine here and I'm thinking potentially this one I need to have a rising force potion for. Here Vivek stopped the moon before it crashed into Vivek city. The moon levitates now above the city and is known as the Ministry of Truth. So you see the scaffolding there. There are a few doors into the interior of that asteroid um, and that is where the Ministry of Truth is kept. Now, I believe there is a merchant somewhere who will sell me a Rising Force potion, so I can make a pilgrimage to there. Now, do you sell me a Rising Force potion? A bargain, Rising Force potion, there we go, that's perfect. We'll go ahead and buy that. And then we can go ahead and complete one more pilgrimage, and there is another pilgrimage just up there. And there is another pilgrimage that we're going to have to get very close to dying in order to actually uh, complete. But there we go. So there is the shrine to stop the moon. Thank you for your daring, Lord Vivek. I shall not shun risk nor hide behind the mask of cautious counsel, for fortune favours the bold. Wonderful. And I now have, of course, <laughs> I forgot about this. I do now have uh, Levitate 100 points. Um, so you see we are going pretty quickly in, in the air now. Uh, and I think actually this might mess up the order in which I do things here. We'll see. Uh, this one's very straightforward. Just donate 100 gold. Thank you for your ge generosity, Lord Vivek. I shall not, I shall neither hoard nor steal nor encumber myself with profitless treasures, but shall share freely among house and hearth. I think this might be the entrance. Nope, not that one. Um, potentially another one of these leads inside oh my goodness okay puzzle canal level three now i need to remember exactly where we need to head so there are rats in here diseased rats out of my way diseased rats so we're on level three of the puzzle canal uh, there is an entrance here why is it? Puzzle Canal Center? Now I believe... That this is the shrine that we're after. Puzzle Canal. Breathe the waters of his glory, and the way is made clear. So, let's go ahead and breathe the waters. And when it says breathe the waters, it really means 
really take a good good deep breath of that water let it kind of fill your lungs um we are going to be uh taking some damage here from the uh lack of breath and that's entirely intentional according to the quest at least so it will take a little while because we do have quite a lot of health at this point actually we've got 150 ish Swimming, we're swimming, swimming. Oh, and we have healed. And there is thunder in the puzzle, uh, puzzle canal. And a path has been revealed. Apparently. So let's go ahead and walk up to here. And we are still levitating. We still have that 100 point levitate. And, oh, we have a Dramora here. Krazd, are you here on the pilgrimage? Read the shrine. Here Vivek gave a plain silver longsword to the Daedra Lord Mirun's Dagon, rather than dishonor himself by fighting an unarmed foe. Are you on the pilgrimage? Do you have a silver longsword for me? I will only accept plain silver longswords. I don't make the rules. Now there is a chest just over here, and in here we can actually take out a silver longsword and hand it over to our Dramora friend here. I take it that silver longsword is for me. As you see, I am unarmed, but you are brave and gallant. <sighs> Will you give me your longsword so that I may stand a chance against your might? Yes, take it. Yes, I accept the sword. Thank you, Samuel. You have the grace of courtesy. You should read the inscription on the shrine to complete your pilgrimage. Thank you for your courtesy, Lord Vivek. I shall speak neither hurtful nor harsh word, but shall speak respectfully, even of my enemies, for temperate words may turn aside anger. Fantastic. And with that, we have only one final pilgrimage to make. It's normally the one that I start with, but I think actually for this we will go ahead and pop down a recall. It should take us there a little bit quicker. So we are now in Balmora, but we have all of our spell uh, and our, our fortify things still active. And that's kind of my intention here. Um, so there is a, a lost pilgrim that we can actually take along to the shrine with us um, at the fields of Kumu. So we'll head over there. And if my understanding, if my recollection is correct, this lost pilgrim... We actually passed them on the way to the Andrano Ancestral Tomb back in, ooh, episode two, three? Can't remember exactly. It must have been three, I think. Yeah, it must have been three. So um, we went along this road, and then we passed alongside uh, the, um, the Lost Pilgrim just down over here. Uh, not you, you are a egg mine. I think just around the corner over here somewhere. It should be. And it is always fun to levitate in this game. <laughs> I think it's a, a feeling that we won't have for a long time on this character. Is having this kind of speedy levitation. Yes, the fields of Kumu. I am on a pilgrimage to this holiest of places, but I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. I will try and lead you to this place. There is a farm nearby where pilgrims may sometimes stop and rest weary lakes. So here we go. So you just follow me. I'm just going to be in the air a little bit, but I'll... Uh... Oh gosh, she's so slow. Can you... Um... I don't know. Drink, drink something that'll make you faster. Take some Red Bull, maybe. Goodness me. Maybe this was a terrible idea. It is only 150 gold coins. Uh, 150 septums, I should say. Uh, but it is, you know, it's 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 a nice thing to do for a lost soul trying to make their way to a pilgrimage site. Uh, and it should be uh, relatively close. Relatively close. I'll probably speed past this, this, this stuff here. Um, it is a little bit slow. So I will rejoin you when we get to the fields of Kumu with this wonderful Dunma lady with us. Come here, Cliff Racer. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that was easy.
You sweat. All right, back on the road. Let's go. Ah, the followers. Come on, lady. We are so close, but still so far. No, don't, don't you dare, don't you dare get stuck on these rocks, I swear to God. Ah, <sighs> come on. What are you doing? Can you not pathfind to me? I'm on the road. Immediately in front of you. <laughs> Where are you going? Do I have to tell you to follow me again? Oh my goodness me. Okay. Okay. She kept turning around in this spot. But I think... I think she's okay. I think she's coming now. I don't know why. Uh, escort quests in this game are very janky. They are... They are not good. And all of these rocks are... Uh, making things infinitely more complicated than they need to be. That's okay. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. Can we duck over here? No, not really. I, I, I'm gonna keep this lady on the road. Um, she stresses me out. Oh my god! I just said I'm gonna keep you on the road. Why are you going that way? You. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I swear to God, I'm gonna lose it. All right. Ooh, a long blade went up. Very nice. Oh my God! Look at all these wild, all the wildlife coming out to try to kill this lady. All right. <sighs> Maybe you should just stay lost, right? Like, maybe. Maybe you deserve to not ever see this field of Kumu. We're so close. Come on, lady. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it's just over here. This is looking really familiar. Come back. Don't run off and go hide in a temple somewhere. Like the other guy did. All you have to do is follow me. And I will do everything else. You literally have one thing to do in this situation. I'm going to grab these stoneflower petals as well. Come on. We are so close. We are so close. It is literally... Our cursor on the map is touching the square that the fields of Kumu are on. You just need to follow a little bit longer. That's the way. This is it. This is it. You're doing it. Oh my god, this is the longest stretch that she's had, where she hasn't turned around and gone the other direction for some reason. Oh my god. We're actually on a roll? This is crazy. I can see it! I can see it! It's over there! We're so close. Just around this corner. That's the way. Oh my god. No! Watch out! You will not take her from me after we've come so close. Okay. It's right here. It's right here. Can you walk behind me? It's a long way to come, but I think you can do it. Come on, lady. Yes. Yes. Yes! We did it. We did it. That is probably the hardest quest that we've done so far, is getting this lady to follow us um, for that longest stretch of time. <laughs> I can only imagine what doing the uh, the coal cave one outside of Magan would have been like. That would have been crazy. Um, so for this Fields of Kumu one, I believe we need Muck, don't we? Here is the Fields of Kumu. The Vect acted as a beast of burden for a poor farmer who could not harvest Muck Sponge after his Guar died. So we need to get muck, and in fact, over there, 
I can see the little, uh, the like vents, almost, that look like, uh, well they look like vents, but they're muck sponges. And we just take one of those, and then we come all the way back. This is where levitate comes in real handy, is that you can just kind of levitate over there. Oh, that wouldn't have been that bad. It can be tricky to get back up these cliffs though. Um, ah, blah. And then we deposit the muck. The grace of humility. Thank you for your humility, Lord Vivek. I shall neither strut nor preen in vanity, but shall know and give thanks for my place in the greater world. So I think now we need to go back to a tribunal temple master and hand in our quests. So we'll go ahead and do that. I think, um, Probably makes sense to head back to Balmora for that, because we have the wonderful uh, Amulet of Recall. And then we'll head over to the temple here. And I believe the person in the temple here can give us a quest reward for this. I think they're of a high enough level in the temple. Otherwise we can go to Vivek where we should have no problems finding a, uh, a master of the temple. I wouldn't think. Yes, you have finished the pilgrimage as of the Seven Graces. I commend you for this. You are now ready for more challenging duties. I do not have any duties for you. <laughs> Perhaps you could speak with Endrin Lethen in Aldrin, or Thara Roth Rothaloth or Rothcloth. I can't quite make that out. Is that an E or a C? In Molagma. I think that might be a... E, so it'll be Roth Eloth in Molagma. Cool. I am now Samuel the Oh my gosh. Samuel the Acolyte. Wow. Went up three advancement levels there. Please go ahead, That's uh that's very good. So there we go. So if we actually uh, I'm gonna double check actually my quests before we finish up for the day. Yep, 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 yep. So we are actually, uh, we handed in all of our veteran quests, and we've handed in all of our tribunal temple quests that we've done. So we have no more of those active right now. And if we look over at our factions over here, Great House Rhetoran, we are up at the rank of Kinsman, and the next rank there is House Cousin. Uh, and we do actually meet all the requirements for the skills, which is great. So all we need to do there is just get some more um, uh, more reputation in the faction. In the temple, we are now considered an acolyte. Uh, and we need to have uh, one skill at 40 between unarmored, alchemy, restoration, mysticism, conjuration, and blunt weapon. Now, I think actually blunt weapon is our highest of those at 50. And I didn't take into account what those favored skills were um, when I planned out doing temple. So we may need to actually think about ways to increase our skills here. So we only need one at a certain level, right? So we may be able to find a blunt weapon trainer to get us above 50. Um, I'll, I'll have a think about that in the time between now and the next episode, probably the one after it'll maybe start mattering because we do need to get one skill to 40 um, just for now so that's fine and the fighters guild will be there at swordsman uh, and the next rank will be protector and we'll need one skill at 40 and there's no problems there we have long blade and heavy armor uh, well above 40 now so fantastic thank you so much for watching and um, we'll see you in the next episode The gaunt ghost fires loom as subtle shrouds, smokes and shades on the byres of Red Mountain. Arches and spires line the rock halls, dimly lit by the spirits of the dead. The blood of broken hearths and houses runs in red rivers, blossoms in fountains. 
Girdled round within walls of wit's glass, the shattered hosts slumber in cradles of ash. But when shall they wake? What dark crucible may kindle their souls to light? How long beneath red reeking clouds must flickering watchfires burn? How many lifetimes of labor and lament will it take to seal this restless tomb?